What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Coach Jordan. And today, what we're going to be going over is basically how we're talking about in my recent uh, one-on-ones and when I talk with my coaches about, okay, what to expect and how to get our athletes better, faster, stronger. And that's starting with a simple thing of loading the hips properly, okay? So basically when it comes to loading the hips, it does recruit you know, your posterior chain, getting your glutes involved, have everything stacked efficiently. That way, you know, we can get the biomechanics to generate enough force to get our athletes moving forward in a quick and explosive manner as well, too. All right. So basically what I got right here is I have Coach Pumai working on loading his hips. All right. So the first one we did and... I want to thank Coach Pomai because, you know, having him help me out with this is uh, is a big deal. He knows what it takes to get faster, better, faster, stronger. But at the same time, I also, in this picture here and this video that you're about to see, I got him loading his hips incorrectly. Okay. So what we're noticing with this positioning here. Now, I didn't even start the video. I didn't move it of any kind. But we got him loading his hips with a pretty strong knee valgus so the knee valgus is basically the angle of your knees moving inward and a knee dominant movement so now if i look at the angle here from the hip to the knee you can see that there's an angle inward there and then now we go from knee to ankle you can see that that type of angle now with that is it's not only unhealthy for our knee to be at that type of angle because that's a lot of adductor recruitment adductors which puts a lot of strain on our knee right in this area here where you know a lot of ligaments are kind of hanging out and keeping our knee in place uh, but on top of that too it does put a lot of strain on our actual hip complex itself so now if I take it this way you see how the hips when they're trying to load they're already in an inefficient position all right so you can only see like really the top half of the hips here but watch as he comes down into that squat look at that hip positioning right there okay so let me check that line one more time that would be one hip that's the other hip right there so we're already off to an off kilter standpoint which would make that the spine at an awkward angle as well too so now imagine exploding from this position right there we're not going to be getting much anywhere in a lateral and or front to back plane as well too or you know just getting that plane down right if i'm trying to sprint forward and i have this definitely not going to gain any ground all right so now as we advance through it as well too this is what we're trying to get corrected here now look at that positioning right there so now with this it's still a lot better than the last one and i have a terrible freaking angle here so excuse me with that but now we have everything in a more stacked standpoint where now our hips are pretty square for one he has tight hips so that's why his hips are still at a awkward angle here but now he's a little more efficient and then from there if i really slow it down and i have him just hold that position now he's properly loaded ready to go you can still get a little more depth out of it you know really get him into a more squatted position but that's still a lot better than where he was beforehand okay so now what we're going to do we're going to fast forward a bit he's loaded all right back in that loaded position glutes engaged proper engagement of the adductors the glutes and not overly recruiting the the adductors and or inner thighs here so now as we advance forward with the movement as he transfers that weight to explode everything is coiled up and once he drives that outer leg out to explode out that's where everything just explodes out and then he lines back in the athletic stance nice controlled hips loaded again all right and that's kind of what we're trying to gain with this because basically what happens is if we're inefficient in our movement and we're over recruiting our adductors now in a general fitness standpoint when it comes to just getting stronger and overall trying to get a better squat or fixing our squat that we can have more stable hips 
there's a lot of things that go into play. A lot of, you know, trainers nowadays will just say, okay, foam roll, do this, 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 and, you know, that'll be the answer. But at the same time, we also want to make, make it a stand, uh, a habit to where we're correcting this, that, that loading of the hip. Because even as he explodes out, right, from this position, he has to load uh, his right hip to stay efficient and decelerate for his landing right there all right so keep that in mind and we're gonna have a little more breakdown today as well too today is technique tuesday it's not just gonna be a one-shot video this is the first one just talking about loading hips properly getting proper recruitment of certain our muscles that way we're not putting a lot of strain on our joints all right so technique tuesday part one Stay tuned, a lot more to come, all about, you know, squat technique, loading the hips, and how it translates into sports as well, too. Other than that, it's Coach Jordan signing out. I'll see you guys in a little bit.